What is up guys? Today we are talking about the mankle. Everything you need to know about going sockless from when it's appropriate to what kind of pants and shoes you should be wearing it with, how to cuff your pants when doing so. Basically, this is going to be a complete guide, the only one you will ever need, about how to pull off the sockless look the right way. Okay, so first off, when is it even appropriate to go for the sockless look? The mankle is not something you can just show off any day of the year. You want to reserve it for the warmer month. So that usually means in summer, the warmer half of spring, or in fall when the temperatures haven't dropped too much yet. Basically, anytime you can go out in one or two layers max. If it's cold enough that you're going out in anything that looks like this, Please wear socks, long winter appropriate socks. Don't be one of those guys with four layers, a giant puffer jacket, and then rolled up jeans showing off your bare ankles. Not a good look. Okay, so I'm usually not much of a hard rules, black or white kind of guy when it comes to fashion. But there is one non-negotiable rule when going sockless. Wear socks. Yes, you should be wearing socks when going sockless. Not long socks, not short socks, but these invisible no-show socks. Yes, the ones that make you look like a ballerina. Because unless you're into stinky shoes, nail infections, and straight up walking around uncomfortable all day, you better be wearing no-show socks. I personally get mine from Muji. I think they're great, they're cheap, comfortable, and they have that grip on the back of the heel that actually works in keeping your socks up. It doesn't get any easier than the turn up. Simply roll up your pants once and you're done. This works best with jeans and chinos. To achieve the same look with trousers, you'll want to get a tailor to alter the hem permanently because the lightweight nature of trouser fabric doesn't really allow for a turn up to actually stay up. Probably the most common way you'll see pants cuffed these days, the double roll is an easy way to show off the ankles. As the name implies, simply roll up your pants twice and you're good to go. You can use the double roll with jeans and chinos, but also with some of the more casual trousers. However, anything that resembles a suit trouser, you should do a permanent single cuff at your tailor. Two things to keep in mind, the slimmer the pants, the smaller the roll should be, and the wider the roll, the more casual it looks. The pin roll is especially popular with sneaker heads. Basically how you do the pin roll is you pinch some of that excess fabric on the inside of your leg, you roll it back once tightly, adjust it a bit to keep it tight around the ankle, and then you roll it back a second time to secure it in place. It's a good way to make the bottom of your jeans slimmer while showing off your new favorite kicks. In my opinion, this only works well with denim though. For chinos or trousers, I would rather go for any of the previous two options. Lastly, the more minimal out of the four methods is the crop. Different from the turn up, crop trousers don't have any noticeable fold and they hit right above the ankle with no need to roll them up. I have seen crop jeans before, but in my opinion, this method works best with trousers. It does instantly make your trousers more casual though, so tread carefully. You don't want the crop to finish too high or you risk looking like you bought your pants two sizes too small. Also, due to the casual nature of the crop, you want the trousers to be more casual as well. Maybe something that has a more relaxed fit. Suit trousers can be slightly cropped, but you want to be careful because if they're cropped too high, it can end up looking a bit funny. Number one, the sneaker. If the weather calls for it, you can pretty much always go for a sockless look when wearing sneakers. From single and double roll jeans and chinos to pin rolls and crop trousers, sneakers offer the most options in terms of what pants you can go for when wearing a sockless look. Number two, loafers. Loafers lend themselves very naturally to a sockless look. They're a little more formal than sneakers though, so I would match that level of formality with my choice of pants. 
think chinos, trousers, or if you do go for jeans, keep it clean and simple with no distressing. If the loafers are suede rather than leather, then you can probably get away with some more casual pants like linen trousers or light colored jeans, even with some distressing as long as it's pretty minimal. Number three, slip-on sneakers. Just like loafers, these are an obvious choice to go sockless. They're a lot more casual though, so these pair better with jeans rather than chinos in my opinion. A good pair of slip-on vans with raw denim is a classic combo that never gets old. Number four, desert boots. I personally don't have any desert boots right now, so this is the best I can do, but yeah, desert boots can look great in a summery outfit when worn sockless. Even with shorts too, I personally like the look of higher shoes that go up to the ankle when worn with shorts. I would maybe stick to suede though for desert boots because I feel like leather has much more of a wintry feel and I think it doesn't suit the sockless vibe as much as suede. Lastly, derbies and brogues. I'm putting these two in the same box as they're generally both included in the dress shoe category. These are as far as you're gonna wanna go on the formality scale. Again, I think suede lends itself more easily to sockless looks rather than leather since it's an inherently more casual material. I have seen people pull off the mantle with leather derbies or brogues though, so I wouldn't discount leather completely. As for legwear, I'd follow the same guidelines as for loafers. Keep it a little more formal with chinos, trousers, or non-distressed jeans in a darker shade. All right, so let's quickly recap. Going sockless is appropriate in summer or with no more than two layers. It is always worn with no-show socks. The four ways to show the mankle are the turn up, the double roll, the pin roll, or the crop. The types of shoes to wear are sneakers, loafers, slip-ons, desert boots, derbies, or brogues. Now, let's see a couple of sockless outfits in action. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to share it on social or with your stylish friends. Spread the word, it would mean the world to me. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new here, or don't, I mean, it's your life. But also please do, come on, hit that button. I wish you a beautiful day, people, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.